When you look at the sun, to provide this energy, it's giving up its life. And that's 4 million tons of its mass gone every second. It is true that compared to its mass, it's pretty much nothing, but it's still interesting. But this happening is not that important. And physicists believe every star will be dead by a hundred trillion years. Our sun will be dead way before that. So at that time, there will be no more energy. Yes, the only form of energy in that time is going to be black holes. You might think that people are not going to be around at that time, but you can't underestimate living things. If there's still living creatures in that time, they could live around these black holes. They can huddle around black holes and live on planets rotating around this ginormous thing. It's been years that physicists believe that in the center of each galaxy, there is a supermassive black hole. The black hole has such a strong pull that it literally doesn't let light escape. And that is why it's called a black hole. The hole itself is black, but there is gas that surrounds it. And what you're seeing that rotates around the black hole is gas. This gas is not a small amount. Sometimes it's a few light years across. Like scientists believe that in the center of the Milky Way supermassive black hole, the gas expands to 3200 light years. That's an insane amount. And the Milky Way galaxy is a medium sized galaxy. Before, scientists believe that you can't live around the black hole. But recently, Manasvi Lingam, a physicist from Harvard University, studies on black holes and he's trying to figure out if it's possible to live around a black hole. His research shows that in the distance of 140 light years away from the black hole, you can live there and use the energy of the black hole. Lingam also called this spot the habitable zone of the black hole. The research is done by Professor Lingam shows not only could the planets get energy from the black hole, but on the planet itself, photosynthesis could be possible. And that means the plants could take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Some scientists believe everything that's been said, but they believe that the radiation that's given off a black hole is much higher than a star. And that shows it's still going to be extremely dangerous. These thoughts never stop any theories from being formed. They say if you want to take the black hole in the center of the Milky Way galaxy, do you know how many planets could fit in that habitable zone? More than 1 million planets. That means this black hole is so big and this habitable zone is so vast that more than 1 million planets could fit in that spot and they could live there and rotate around the black hole. What about the light? Stars shine a bright light onto the planets. How can a black hole produce light? You have to know that around a black hole there's a lot of gas. A huge spot of gas and it has a lot of energy and the gas around the black hole will light up the sky like a star. The black hole is dark in the center, but around it, it's not dark. If you're on a planet close to a black hole, you're not gonna see a sunrise sunset. This is what you're gonna see. If you've seen the movie Interstellar, the story is they want to go to a planet that's close to a black hole. 
But in the movie, it's obviously not real because they're trying to go to a planet that's extremely close to the black hole. Scientists believe that if a planet is too close to a black hole, it would be sucked in. But if they're a little closer than the habitable zone, it's gonna be like Venus. And that's a very hot planet, more than 900 degrees centigrade. But the way it looks, in trillions of years, when every star in the universe has died out, we can go around a black hole. But it only works around huge black holes, because smaller black holes don't have enough energy and not enough heat. So it has to be next to a massive black hole and in the habitable zone, around 130, 40 light years away. In this distance, a black hole could produce the same energy and light source of a star. If the future complains, tell them to go live around the black hole and don't say we didn't tell them. The way it looks, living around the black hole could be forever because black holes don't die and you could use it forever. But that's only if we figure it out. Right now our sun has about 5 billion years left and the other stars have about 100 trillion years left. So we have a lot of time to think about the black hole. And we have a set of eyes in space that's looking at all of these. James Webb. And as you know, one of its goals is to research black holes. As you know, James Webb recently started his work, and since the recent photos it took, it hasn't sent any new ones. NASA hasn't announced anything either, and most of the news you see is not real by NASA itself. If there's new news, it's not real, because NASA is the main owner of the James Webb telescope, so they should be the ones that announce it. But be sure that if we get any news, we let you guys know. That's a human for you. It's thinking trillions of years ahead. Some say you don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but science is in a different level. <laughs>